So we are going to the next page and we already have make twee. So now we are going to make the third. And first again I like to make this twip on this side. And let's see. And we are going to make this one suitable That's the base, and now I am going to make a big pocket. So, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, it's already a flip. So, grab a piece of paper and make a flip. I already did that, I see. And then I line it up on this side and then I line it up here then I make a fold line and I make it shorter and then I check how far I want the pocket to be Let's see, so this comes here, and I like it a little lower, just about a half inch, I guess. Let's check, yeah, a half inch, yeah, that's okay, because we are going to make a line, a cut apart, so how far this it's about about then I make a mark and I cut this away like this okay now this is the base so this when this is all finished, we glue this one down. But for now we can put this aside and we can work on this uh, base. And um, let's see. Um, I like the cut apart, so I am going to do that off camera because you already knew how I made this. And let's check if we are having some leftovers where we can do that with. Yep, this is nice. It's nice and short. And we have this. So line it up. No, this is too short. No, and we do use what we have. So, I made this shorter and then I cut it away. So, I did cut it. And this, we are not gluing it down yet. Just wait for a minute. But I do mark where where the design paper comes. 
so I know where my next um, where my next um, oh, pocket calls. Let me see if I have some leftovers. This is just too short. Let me see before I cut any. Yeah. I don't have any bigger left over, so I need a new one. So I decide how far. I just make these. Um, let me see. Um, let me think, let me think, let me think, let me think. I don't, yeah, I do like. Yeah, I do. I just want it just a little bigger, higher than my mark. And then I give this a mark. So I cut this. And make a flippity flop. Then, oh, don't fall down, please. Then I measure how far this pocket will go, and I make a mark, of course, and make a fold line and cut the rest off. That's the second pocket you are going to use. And um, yes, we are going to make another uh, cut apart, so let's do that first. Now, for the second design paper, I used my other leftover. And I leave it as large as I can because I always can cut it down if I want to. So again, I am going to measure how far this design paper is coming. So I leave it away. Now, let's see. We can make another one. <coughs> and now uh, this paper is ready to go. Um, so the third pocket, I like it to be higher. I think I want it to be as high as this one. So let's measure. It's one and a half inch. So I like it to be as high as this one. It's one and a half inch. So I measure it up. And I like it this high. So again, make a flippity flop. Measure how far this goes. Make another flippity flop. And make it short. There you go. Now we have make three pockets. And for this one, of course, we need also a cut apart. Let's see. 
I always use first my leftover for any small things to use. I think I use this one. So let's make it ready to go. Yeah, do that off camera. So now we have three and now we can glue these on each other. So let's do that. So and let's grab some bigger tape. Attach. comes all the way down so yes we can make the glue on the bottom so that's good really, really good tape <laughs> come on yep there it is. I think it was not wake. Wakey wakey. So this is the first. the next This comes on top like that. Like that. Yes, like it. Now, um, let's see. Check our decoration because perhaps you already see it. I make these just a little shorter, but I can fix this with use my um, my other paper. Let's see. I. And just glue this now because this is the same. Um, let's fix that with with what with what with what? Um, yeah, it's just a background. So I first cut this way and a little shorter and then I first glue this in yes we are you see everything is can be fixed Shovel it in. And how high it is, it does not matter because we are gluing the blue part over it. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> the 
cold is not gone yet. Oh. So now we slide it over here and then we place it where we want it to be. And now this totally don't bother me. Now let me see how far I can cut this a little less but that's just a small this. So I leave it, I leave it. I'm used to make every single inch of the paper useful. <laughs> so this is just a little bigger. Then neat too, but that's okay. That's okay. This has a little struggle. Why is that? Because I think it's just a little... There you go. It was just a little too big. So, this works better. Yeah. Now for the last part, just wait just a minute. Because I do like, um, I think I want to be having a magnet here. Yeah. And you see later why I did manage a magnet here. Wait just and see. So it does not matter how far, but just about in the middle. So leave it. And now I can make my design paper over it. So what I have in mind with it, we can do it later. There we have our pocket page. Yep, like it. So this we are going to attach to our page. Of course. This is a pretty large pocket, so for this one I am using the tape at the bottom because I really want this page to stay on the page. So it does not matter because we are going to make a large tag in it. Make sure you have the right way. <laughs> and glue this down at the right spot. Yes. And now we have just a little um, background paper. I think I am want to use some pink. No, 
see and I left over I don't see anything so let's check this is too short and this is blue I think I am going to use this one and I don't need that much so we cut a little of this edge Try it if it fits. Yes, it fits. Then we smooch it. And then we glue it down. So, yeah, three pockets to go. Easy peasy. Now, the next step is, um, first I am going to um, think. Let's think, 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 think. We are going to make a big tag in the back pocket and Let's see, and I want to make a flip, so I grab, let's see, I want to make a complete flip over, though I guess not, I am not going to make it on one paper, so I am going to check my leftovers. Let's check, 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 check. I believe I have these. These I have two. I know, I know it. Yes, these I have two. So not any at the same size. Anyway, let's figure out which one fits. This one. I wanted to. You can use the whole pocket, but I always like to have a really good fit, so I don't need to use the whole pocket. Otherwise, it really gets not getting anywhere. So I feel that it here gets stuck. So what I do is grab my pencil and I want to make here a mark so this is the size for and I make a flippity flop not, not cut it just make a flippity flop because we here we are going to attach the other page so grab another piece of paper make it the same size and then this can be attached yes so we first do that and of course the flippity flop can be shorter than this and we will make it a little shorter now attach these two one another
like that. And then the west. Um, let me see. The west. You can can cut it off, or you make another flippity flop. And that comes a pocket. So that's totally up to you. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Hope you like it too. So this becomes um, a, a tag, of course. And this, when this all is finished, don't know if this is handy, but we check. So this slides in, and then the upper flap will be overlapping this, and then that's why I wanted here um, a magnet. on top of that flap I want to make use the chipboard elements because otherwise I again forget them and so I want this page to use for over top so I can decorate decorate this page yeah so that's the reason why I made the magnet on so now we can decorate this one and we can make another tag in it and this comes far enough to there so we cut it and the last one is not small enough this is so the last one comes also there so and I think I uh, this is about the same size and this may be better if it's also the same size so I hope my brabbling makes sense. <laughs> I really, 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 really hope it is. Now for this one, you can again make a pocket if you like. Why throwing paper away if you can make a nice pocket? So first tag, second tag and for this one I am going for this also and make it fold ah. so let me decorate let me see this is the first it's a flip and that's shovel in here. And the second one, it's a flip, and that's coming there. And then the big flip, it's shovel underneath, and it's magnetic. So let's find some nice decorative paper. So let's be back. I'll be back. So make the first tag. I already prepared mine. So I used these two strips. And yes, that's still from the same sheet as we did cut out 
the lady. So we are still using the same sheet. So I first decorate. I was checking <laughs> if I was not having the card upside down. And that's the second. Now I use this nice picture for on top. this still using my scraps then we make the pocket close and oh, I was using my ATG for this. Because it's quicker a bit. So we glue the small pockets closed and now I am using this piece of paper. top of this small pocket. Now on this side I was using another card and that's of course the, the leftover from this one. This comes on top. Then I am using a piece of strip from this one. As you can see, it's from the same sheet as the little pocket. This comes below. And now I cut a piece of this and I glue it on a piece of um, background paper and what I did when I glue this down I just glue the these sides so I have a little pocket but this we can glue all the way down and this slightly comes over the pink A little pocket and here also a little and on the background I use just my background paper and of course you can use any background paper you want to use plain or a color or whatever you like whatever you have in your stash
so and as promised I am going to use these where was my glue and let's decide where I want it to be one I think so I think this will be nice so So one here in the middle. And the other one just a little lower to make it playful. Yeah, like it. So let's give it a good dry so we can make the other tags. Yep, up to the next tag. So for the second tag, I am going to make use of, again, just a simple black, black uh, background paper. Like this. Gluing the pocket down. Then on top, again, use some background paper. On top I have this piece of paper like this and on the back I am going to use my other leftover Not washi tape, but I believe you have these also in washi tape. But this isn't. This is just some women that flower boutiques use, I guess, for um, for making nice bouquets. So, line it up, nice and easy, and cut where you like to cut it, and for the next, line it up, and cut it away, yes! Nice and easy. So it's a nice cover-up for using every piece of paper. Yeah, and we have a pocket. Where you can leave a nice tag in it. Yes, 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 yes. Now the final, final tag. So our last tag is going to be like this. I use this piece of paper with the teacups on the back. Now 
Now on the front I want to use these. I think that will be nice. Let's see how I manage all three. Playful. Let's see. This and then hmm. let's see. I only attach the bottom. So when you have a picture on the front, you still can slide it in. Yeah. Let's go for safe. This one on the right. A little higher. And then this one just to it. Yeah, then when you have a picture or a tag, you can slide it underneath. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Now on the inside, I use again these backgrounds. Glue them inside. And now I have these leftovers and I think it will be Playful, and I just glue one side. So glue in here. Then again, when you have a picture, you can slide it underneath. I think it will be funny. And I have another one just for my leftovers. And I will give this on this side. Yep. So if you have pictures, you can slide them underneath. Yes. And for the back, <coughs> I am going to use the same paper, but that, but then the other side. You can use the same if you like. So. Yeah, like it. So, so Deb, Debbie, our yeah, fourth. This is the fourth. Our fourth page is ready, and uh, let me show you how it turns out. So, here is our big flap, and this comes out. So we have a nice big it's not dry yet but pretty enough so this is the top and this is the inside where I managed uh, just a little pocket underneath but you can make a nice picture on it 
Here we have a little pocket and on the back I just made it plain and in the second pocket we have um, managed a pocket on top and on the back we just make it this way and the last tag you can put something underneath of course and also here on the left and the right and this is the back so this is our pocket page and I hope you like it so we are going to our next one and this slides in here and stay put with the magnet we managed yes like it up to the next page